the empty yard next to 184 East 7th Street, uh, just how desolate that was. And it uh, uh, represents what the block was at that time. I think for some reason, seeing the very front of the storefront in the very early days and what it looked like then and what it looked like now um, was kind of a shock to me to realize what's happened. And There's a picture of a young man, he was, his name was Mike, thinking about the first time I believe I met him. His mother had brought him to our uh, activity in the park and she was pregnant at the time and she came with him, uh, another sister, and uh, and he was, a, he was young at the time and well that, that picture brings back memories of, of his mom now and, and his sister, him. I saw him grow up. I saw him become a teenager. He was a, became an altar boy at the at uh, St. Bridget's Church here. And then uh, when, uh, around the time when he was about 17, he was telling me he was going to join the Marines. And I think about him, I do think about him a lot uh, over the years, I, I think about what happened to him. The fact that we're in a, an old gutted uh, synagogue and the whole street has changed in character uh, just says so much about to the last 40 years of, of presence, you know, of God's people on, on one block in, in New York. Those of us who came here from far away, you know, I came up from Birmingham, I think we had a certain idea of what it was going to be like, and it felt like it was probably going to be very foreign. But as we got to know the kids, it, we realized they were just kids, and they, they just wanted somebody to inter interact with them and care about them. And when you look at the photos of the kids, you see how trusting they were. You see their, their faces and their smiles and how they were very open to us. And that was a remarkable part of the story for me. There's a guy who was in a, uh, a fight uh, early on that summer that I, I witnessed the fight. It was dark, so I didn't really see any details, but I heard the fight and uh, I'd kind of gotten to know him a little bit. He you know, hung out in front of uh, 184 East 7. And the next day when we came out on the street, there he was on the street and, and he had a big, um, he had a big patch on his side where he would, had been patched up after being cut by a bottle, a broken bottle. And he was, he just seemed as, as joy, glad as anything to see us and show us his patch and then later in the summer show us the scar. Well, I walked down here, uh, down Avenue B and it brought back a lot of memories of my first time seeing uh, this area in New York just turned 18 and coming down here and thinking, wow, I have never seen a place like this before. It was a uh, day in December, it was cold, and um, the sun, it was maybe three o'clock in the afternoon, but you know, the sun was already starting to wane. And uh, I do remember feeling very sad, a little bit sad, but also feeling challenged and thinking, you know, maybe this is a place for me. Maybe this is a place to, to minister and to serve. That was my first impression of this area. And then again, I was here in 1976, 1977. One story from 1977 was after the blackout. And uh, I do remember the date, July 13th, 1977. And the, um, we had witnessed uh, a, a tragedy, uh, some violence on the street. Uh, a photographer getting stabbed. The children that we worked with that summer, they were on the street that day and they witnessed that, that violence. And uh, we, were, we were trying to decide, those of us who worked here, we were trying to decide what should we do after that. And we decided uh, we're gonna go out there and, and on the street and have a um, normal time with the kids, serve watermelon, have a puppet show, do arts and crafts. Um, we, didn't, we didn't think about the danger to ourselves. We just thought that this is what needed to be done and we went out and did it. And it's amazing how, how young I was when I was here and I, it was such a formative time for me that it's hard to separate my own personal development and you know, what happened on the street. We were all sort of evolving at the same time. I know people when, in our group would say the people of the spirit will rebuild this city, the devastations of many generations and I just see uh, that's not building us people's hearts and who they are, and I do see that happening now. Through folk, through people just coming and being here and, and doing what they know to do and see to do and are prompted to do.
I do think a lot about the great river of time and that uh, all these things are connected and just talking with um, uh, those of you that were working here in the 70s thinking how God did some amazing things through that and the connections we could have never evaluated or known.